on the wrong path lord found me had to reroute curse and shackles bondage jesus name call it up and now up and now up and now hey y'all welcome back to perfect god pursuing me i'm yaz i'm so glad you're here god has called me to make this video that i honestly never expected to be speaking on but if you're here you probably have a tattoo you regret <laughs> I have several that I, in hindsight, after my deliverance and revitalization of my salvation, you know what I mean? It's not that I didn't know who Jesus was when I got these tattoos. It's just that I had some things that he still needed to work out of me and deliver me from. So long story short, I'm here with you. I get it. Um, but I think that it's time that we stop walking in shame and condemnation from having tattoos that you regret or no longer resonate with there's freedom in Christ Jesus even from things like this he's walked me through this over the last four years and counting so I can honestly say I'm in a place where I don't feel any shame about the tattoos on my body um, I know that people look at me you know within the Christian community people will look at me sideways or you know think that maybe I, I still need deliverance in certain areas but it's a testimony and it's an opportunity to share the grace of God the love of God and the work he's done in our lives and I wear it as a badge of honor because it shows where he's brought me out of um, but let's get into the conversation so I know this can be a really touchy subject like trust me I get it and I think a lot of the conversations that I've heard about this you don't hear a whole lot of grace about it. It's just like, oh, you know, your X, Y, and Z. I'll, I'll let you fill in the adjectives because I've heard them all and more. So I want to approach this conversation delicately so you can kind of like relax your shoulders and exhale because like I'm not about to sit here and call you stupid or dumb just because you made a regrettable decision. But I will say the first thing that you need to do um, if you want to get free from these tattoos that represent like dark covenants, I'll say, is you need to reflect on why you got them in the first place and you need to pray about that so take some time quiet your mind quiet the noise in your mind sit with god and think about where you were at at that time in your life that you got that tattoo what was influencing you what doors in the spirit realm did you have open what could have entered? Where did it take root? What might you need deliverance from to re prevent this from happening again? Um, because I know for me, I'm like a repeat offender. <laughs> God loves me so much, man. But like, I know he was just shaking his head watching me get these tattoos. But like, I would get one tattoo that I regretted and then I would sit, turn around and get another one. You know what I mean? So I'm not like fully tatted head to toe, but I have quite a few tattoos and I definitely don't resonate with all of them. Uh, but it took time for me to sit with God in humility and to, to bring him, hey, I'm embarrassed about this. Hey, I regret this. I shouldn't have done this, God, right? Like, he's our father, so you can talk to him about these things. And he'll gently, at least in my experience, my God is quick to forgive and slow to anger. So he can gently walk you through, you know, here's, here's where you messed up. <laughs> I have forgiven you. I do love you. I don't want you to walk in condemnation, but here's where you messed up. Here's what you need to pray. Here's what you need to get delivered from. And now let's do things differently moving forward. So I would suggest that you reflect and pray with God in that manner um, because there's something deeper there, right? Like it's not, typically it's not just a picture. You were drawn to it or it's not just a word. Or it's not just saying or a name or an image or a symbol. Like you were drawn to that for a reason. And if you regret it now, thank the Lord because he's changed your mindset and only God can reveal things like that to you um, but you want to heal and get free from those things that were deep inside you that maybe you weren't even aware of um, I know for me something that he brought to my attention is that I'm Filipina and in the indigenous like culture and tradition tattoos are a huge deal for women and they represented all these different things and there's like a whole like you can look up articles about like the warrior filipina tattooed women and you know it's a whole thing and so for me god was just like you know these this stronghold like these demons you're getting delivered from it's not just a light thing you didn't just see it on tv and it was cute like no this demon 
was assigned to your bloodline, it had a stronghold and it had access in the territory you were in, in the bloodline that you came from. And so me getting delivered and free from these things, it took a lot. And it, <laughs> it was a big deal because it had several generations, even more than I can even realistically trace in a chokehold. <laughs> and that's why it was drawn to me. And it was only Jesus that could have freed me from that. So again, like, I'm proud of that. I am super grateful that God did that for me. And if I have to get looked at like a witch because people glance at a tattoo that I have and just assume, then that's fine. But I know that I also have a testimony that can really help people get free. So kind of just like making that distinction with the Lord and standing on it once you pray. Okay, next thing I had to do is repent and break the covenant because when you get a tattoo you're shedding blood and some people i know have spoken about like you get a tattoo and there's like demonic symbols in the tattoo shop or you know the tattoo artist ain't all the way right upstairs in their spirit um but even if that's not the case you shed blood for this symbol and that's an open door that's a contract in the spiritual realm so you need to like i said the lord i really do like have a lot of trust in the holy spirit that you don't need a written out scripted prayer to repent and break covenant with these things because the lord will lead you and direct you and how to do that so that's why i'm kind of being vague on it because only he knows how deep it goes and what needs to be said but that's something i definitely did was just break covenant with if you got a tattoo to symbolize or document a relationship you had with somebody breaking soul tie breaking covenant with them if you had it because you believed a false doctrine i've done that as well breaking covenant with those demon gods that are leaders of that spiritual thought pattern um if you did it because you that's something i've done as well like you have like this sadness this depression this mental health issue whatever and you want to document that you survived that that's a covenant with a curse i'm not depressed i don't have depression like i'm free in christ jesus and i'm free indeed so right like breaking covenant and using the word to guide your repentance um and just doing it with a a contrite heart a humble heart a lowly heart like you know god if you let me lead me i'll i'll be a hot mess so god just lead me and, and heal me god because i need you like just starting your prayer from that place and he'll take you where you need to go and from there, from that point, you've reflected, you've prayed, you've repented, you've broken off the covenant and the soul ties. You might need to get delivered. <laughs> and the Lord can work deliverance in any way that he pleases. So you might be experiencing deliverance. You might be intimidated by it based on what you've seen. Um, I know I've had a number of different types of deliverances from like what you would traditionally see, like a sha -ta, ta oh, screaming on the floor. Yes, that is amazing. And I've also had a self-deliverance where nobody was around and nobody ever knew but me and the Lord. But people in Christ who saw me after were like, oh, there's something different about you. You know, I've had a deliverance where I was sleeping and God woke me up and I was vomiting uh, because I was getting freed from something in my sleep. So God can deliver you. <laughs> and it might be something you have to wrestle and toil for. But I do believe at the right time at the appointed time he does bring our deliverance because he's a good father so after all of that in turn in relation to your tattoos you might need to go ahead and get delivered from some of those things that he reveals to you and after that you are free and you need to walk in that freedom you need to forgive yourself because christ has forgiven you and you need to walk boldly and realize that these symbols they're just skin now they're powerless these tattoos are no longer covenants. These tattoos are no longer contracts. These tattoos no longer reflect who you are. They only tell a story of who you used to be. That has nothing to do with who you are today. So these, after you do these things, you get delivered, you repent, you break the covenant, you're free now. And you need to walk in that confidence and seek God for the next steps. I know there's times where I was like, God, like after I first... First, first, first got delivered from this one specific tattoo that I was like so embarrassed about, like so humiliated. People were like judging me, making fun of me, whatever, you know, the world was worlding. 
um, after he freed me from that contract, I was like, okay, what now? And he's just like, just sit with it. Just sit with it. It's not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Your skin ain't going nowhere. Just sit with it. And so that's what I've done. And then there's another tattoo where this was more recently, actually. Like, I think it was in a dream. It was either a dream or a vision, but he gave me a vision. He put the image in my mind, whether I was asleep or awake, I don't remember, on a cover-up for it. And I was like, ah. Huh that's fire because before like I said he just told me to sit with it so I was just like okay cool I'm, I'm sitting I'm here so when he recently like within the last couple of months gave me this cover-up I was like oh, okay so yeah that's why I say just sit with him for next steps because he'll tell you what you need to do um I, I haven't ran and got the cover-up because he's taught me like a good work in patience through just sitting with it so I know he'll lead me to the right person who he wants to um uh, do this for me this artist this tattoo artist and he'll let me know how to steward the funds that he's going to give me for it so I haven't rushed to do it but I have this idea in my mind now that he's blessing me with this little like you know sneak peek of it so I hope this empowers you to you know leave the shame and the condemnation behind and don't feel like you're just locked in or you're less than no matter how people look at you because of tattoos that you got in the past that you no longer resonate with or regret that there is freedom in Christ from even things like this God bless you and I'll see you in the next video. Smash a woman on the ground, bake the hood, cast the reel out. Serpent come around me, Ronda Rousey, it's a knockout.